Hi everyone, it's Maggie about here on a sick day home from work. So I figured if I was stuck in this chair, I may as well have a conversation with you guys. Um, I'd like to say thank you to a few people who have emailed me of late asking me where the hell my videos are. Um, I, I love you guys and I'm here, I swear. Um, so uh, I thought it might be kind of fun to take a more in-depth look at a game that I really loved. It was... Um, I haven't actually looked at a comprehensive list of all the games that came out last year and made my thoughts very well nailed down, but I'm just going to say that this is probably my favorite game of last year. So we're just going to call Kanban my favorite game of eh, 2014. Um, so this is a two to four player game from Vital Lacerda, who I very much doubt I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, it's about making cars. Um, it's actually about the process by which you make cars. <laughs> so um, you take it from design and innovation all the way through testing, and then you buy cars and you present them in your little meeting at the end of the week, and you try and suck up to your boss. Um, it's it is a game that is not that difficult to play. It is a little bit difficult to learn because it has a lot of mechanisms. I'm actually kind of sad because one of the bigger reviews I saw for Kanban was Paul from Shut Up and Sit Down, who tried to play it at a con after being sleep deprived and probably a little jet lagged and conked out his brains. So I would say it's not as heavy as you think it is, but it, it takes a little bit of investment in time or effort to learn. Um, so I will start by saying one of my favorite, favorite things about this game, and I don't know if you've read it yet, but the rule book for the game is really, really solid. Um, everyone can say what they like about Stronghold rule books. I would agree that sometimes they don't hit, but this one, what I loved about the Kanban rule book um, was twofold. They numbered the stuff in their setup so that I could refer to the rules in the numbers um, together. They pulled out important rules out of the text and kind of broke it up in the layout. And the last score, or the final end game scoring and end of game are all on one page. They're not in the middle of another page or on three pages. They're on one page, and that's really helpful for me. The other thing I will say about the Kanban rulebook is that for the first two months that I saw it, every single time that I saw someone playing it, saw someone setting it up, saw someone posting pictures from later, the creator and the developer of this game um, were on Twitter telling them maybe they had a rule wrong, maybe they had a setup wrong, telling me that my board was very messy, <laughs> which is very true. Um, there to help out and make the game feel more accessible because they knew that the game was going to have a little bit of trouble with people feeling like it was too heavy. It's not too heavy. It's actually, it's just so spot on and perfect. Um, they also did a fabulous little geek list where all of the rule, you know, like major types were a geek list item and they kind of kept a running count of questions people might have about given rules. So that was really fabulous. Um, the biggest thing I think that didn't do so well for Kanban, and luckily I think it's out of the woods on this, is that they released it at the exact same time as Panamax, which was another stronghold title from last year, which was much lighter. Um, they are very different mechanically. They, I, I thought they were pretty different thematically. One is about you know shipping cargo, and one is designing and testing cars. So yes, they have methods of transport in them, but they are very, very different. And I would say Panamax is a good game. Uh, it has a lot going for it and some fun, very weirdly interactive details, but Kanban has a style into itself, and um, you don't see things like you do in Kanban that often. So it is a board with multiple different departments. So you have where you make the cars and where you test the cars and where you make the pieces, where you buy the parts, and like a meeting hall where you're going to have to account for yourself at the end of the week. And each turn you're going to place a meeple into one of those departments and it gives you access to 
a few different actions. But if you want to go first, you get fewer of the actions than if you go second in the department. You can earn and bank extra actions for later, and those also save you some points loss when Mean Sandra comes around. Because the game has two modes, one playable, one not has a nice Sandra mode and a mean Sandra mode. Um, nice Sandra mode rewards you for being the best in a given department when she comes around. Mean Sandra punishes the person who has trained the least and does not meet her standards in a given department. Um, the, the amount that she punishes you is not devastating and you can still win, but it does hurt. It, it's, it's not a good thing. So you spend a lot of your game trying to figure out how to either mitigate Sandra losses, to get Sandra to go to a different department than one you're in, or get one step ahead of the person in the training so that she can't hurt you anymore. Um, it is a really cool NPC mechanic the way that Sandra moves is she goes in the same lineup as the rest of you, so you start left to right, everyone has to replace their meeple into a different department, and she's just going to walk one department over. Unless both of the spots are filled in that department, and then she'll continue until she finds an open space. Um, when she gets down to the end of the board, it also triggers a different type of scoring, which um, cares about how many cars and innovations you have. And... <clears throat> That is just a whole nother kind of cool. I really love um, the extra actions and the way that requisitioning parts works. Um, I thought that each strategy in the game is, is achievable, but you really don't want to be the only person in the making and buying cars mechanics, you want other people having to work on making cars too, because it's really easy to kind of set up someone else to come in and swoop out, out with the cars that you made if you're the only one doing it. Um, so you need some extra help there. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm a little cold medicine crazy, so that may have come out in a ramble, but I'm going to put this out and you guys should tell me about your experiences. Have you played Kanban? Have you seen reviews? Did they scare you? Um, I, I would highly encourage anyone to try this game. And one kind of cool thing that Stronghold did was to have that um, Paul Grogan did a how to play video and they released that at the same time to try and help people as well learn and play the game because they were a little afraid of it. Um, I'm just starting to see it where it's selling out at my stores and I can't reorder it so it might be out f until the next printing probably after what Chinese New Year, um, but um, I would encourage you to take a look around and see if you can't find it. It's worth every penny. Um, so that's it for now. Hope this wasn't too rambly, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.